hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some it's not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it so casanova who is 36 years old y'all 36 years old young man too y'all not bad looking either um he just been sentenced y'all 15 years 15 years it's official y'all he was a part of the untouchable gorilla stone nation street association okay on tuesday june 27th the brooklyn rapper real name coswell senior received 188 months or 15 years behind bars from u.s district judge philip halpern Included in the crimes, he's accused of are a hitting in Florida on July the 5th, 2020, a robbery in New York City on August 5th, 2018, and conspiracy to traffic over 100, you know, you know, them trees, grams of them trees, y'all, um, kilograms of trees, y'all, y'all. This don't make no sense. You know, I, I say this all the time. Why 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 be a rapper? Why go and sign with a label just to go to jail? Or beef with another rapper and get taken out because street associations is involved with a lot of um rappers. This is what they where they from. They from the streets. They get record deals that don't make them still not street. If there's a certain street association when they before they go into rapping, they don't give it up. They continue it. Word on the street, they go drop off weapons to the hood. More street pharmacy stuff to the hood. And um, this is what they do. Instead of trying to find a way out for people not to even have people coming back and forth at them. Instead of them trying to, you know, put some money in the hood and give some people some jobs. Get these kids off the street and let them get a job and make their own money. Instead of doing that, their way of making money never changes. Their, their mindset just don't change. They continue to want to, you know, bag up some work, y'all. I don't know what's going on with them. I don't understand it, y'all. It doesn't make any sense. This man is going to be 50-something years old when he get out. 50, 51, something like that. When he gets out, if he don't, you know, if he don't get no good time or anything like that, and he have to do the whole 15 years, 51 years old when he get out. Nice-looking young man. All that manliness is going to be around a whole bunch of other men, y'all. And then sooner or later, even if his temptation ain't there, it will be because 15 years is a long time and you know they have men that come in there that look like women with that long hair and feminine you know and they end up falling for the okie doke y'all okay and they get turned out in these prisons and then when he come out he's probably gonna come out not even caring about being with a woman anymore his thing is going to be, you know, all these years, another man took care of me, so a man can take care of me out here. And he'll probably be another one that's going to come out here looking for him, a, a drag, queen, some fruity pebble, nation. Do y'all see how this just keep, continue, continue, continue to go on? This is so pathetic. It don't make sense. Why in the world... I don't know when he got signed. I don't know when he got signed. Okay, I said 2016, he made his first original song, Don't Run. He is signed to Rock Nation. 
So did he sign in 2016? Because if he signed in 2016, y'all, this doesn't make sense. None of this makes any sense. Because it's saying right here that 2020, he was out here hitting up people in Florida in a robbery in New York where Jay-Z is from, who he signed, Rock Nation. August 2018, he had already been signed with Jay-Z. So why two years later? If he got signed, I don't know, did he get signed? Let me check and see. Did he get signed in 2016? Okay, it says he signed to Rock Nation in 20... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. In 2016, Casanova made his first original song, Don't Run. He is signed to Rock Nation. Okay? Um, in 2020, he was indicted on RICO charges. So if he made his first song in 2020, it's not saying exactly when he signed to Rock Nation. It's not saying I'm trying to find it, but I don't see it. And I'm kind of tired, so I really don't. It says, in October 2016, Casanova officially signed his deal with Warehouse Rock Nation. In 2016. 2016. He signed to Rock Nation. So he got a check. We don't know how much he said he gave him because um, look what Beyonce giving out to two people. 500000 each. They got some serious talent. Okay? This is what she did to her artist. So, did he give him 500000 Did he give him a million? We don't know. But he did sign 2016. So, ask yourself this question. Why is two years later he's still out here slinging them trees? Huh? Why wasn't he doing shows? See, I can't feel sorry for people like this. I really cannot. I just can't. And then you out hitting at people in 2020. You didn't think that this was going to come back and nip you in your tail. And this is the same guy, y'all, that just got attacked in prison not too long ago, a few days ago, because he went to court and he sent a letter to the judge and told the judge that he was denouncing his street association. This is what he sent to the judge. And I'm going to tell y'all something. These people, they don't care about these inmates. They don't care. Because if he wrote a letter to the judge, it should have been between him and the judge. That letter, if it should have never got out. It shouldn't have never got out. You know, if they start suing these judges and stuff like this, when stuff like this get out, they'll stop doing this mess. They will stop doing it because they put his life in danger. He didn't go to court and say this. He wrote a letter to the judge saying he denounced his, his street association. And they made this public in court. And it got back to the people that he was in the street association with. And this is why he got, you know, sliced in the face in prison. A lot of people that's getting attacked in these jails and stuff like that, some of this stuff can be avoided, y'all. It could be avoided. You can't feel sorry for him because he knew but said he shouldn't have been in there in the first place. But at the same time, you got to think about these judges and stuff that they'll do some stuff like that. This is not something that he even had to read to the courtroom or nothing, none of that. This is something that he sent to the judge for to try to get some leniency toward him. And from my understanding, it was some leniency because they were trying to offer him a deal. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. They was trying to offer him a deal for 30 years, and he turned it down. So he ended up getting half of that. So he made a good call by not taking 30 years. Okay, y'all? So he only got 50. 10 years but that's still a long time y'all that's a long time i don't care what nobody say that is a long time to be locked up seriously that don't even make no sense but him getting slashed that seemed like something that the judge could have kept to himself and just decided between him and his own self if he was going to show leniency or not 
And they sent that and made that public, y'all. This is why a lot of people don't trust the police and they don't trust people of authority because they throw them under the bus every time. Every time. And they're saying this in this in this um report. It says earlier this month, the Rock Nation artist penned a letter to the judge hoping for leniency from the legal system. In the emotional letter which was obtained that media outlets. How did the media outlets get this letter, y'all? And then you gotta talk. You gotta think about these media outlets that put out this type of information for the world to know, because they got the judge let everybody know that he sent that letter, and then he gets sliced in the face. This is a sad world we're living in. When you can't even send a judge a letter. And um, without everybody knowing what's in it, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Because I just feel like this was really messy for the judge to let that letter get out. Especially if it was for his eyes only. It was not for the courtroom. It was just for him. It don't make sense. But anyway, y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think. He got 15 years. And um, yeah, is he going to come out, you know, swinging that other way? Possibility. This is how it goes. It is an ongoing thing that just constantly happens over and over again. And it is what it is, y'all. Anyway, good luck to him. Hopefully he learns some sense in there, which is hard to do when you're in a, you know, in a facility with a whole bunch of criminals. And the only thing they do is ping Paul get ideas off of each other's head, and they come out just as weird as they came in. So, you know, they, they, they end up going in there learning some more junk. To me, because everybody I know that go to prison and jail, they end up coming out and they learn some more stuff from other criminals. I'm just saying, y'all, this is what it is. The only rehabilitation that's going on is they going in there learning some more stuff what to do to pe other people and how to, you know, hustle another way. That's what I be saying, y'all. But anyway, good luck to him. Hope for hopefully he learned his lesson. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.